deeper design inspirations for Jurassic World Legacy, we're thinking about what does the word legacy mean? and it's leaving behind something for the future. We wanted the game to feel like it was a sort of a dead stock game from mid-century where it hadn't been opened yet, but it was printed back then. So we were looking in the 1950s at what was going on. So we did stuff like adventure magazines, uh, movie monster covers, uh, all that kind of artwork. I spent a lot of time reading old Scientific Americans, going through the backs of a lot of comic books. For the map, Hawaii was pretty much a new state at the time. So we're thinking, we're dealing with a, a tropical island. Let's look at Hawaiian tourist maps. So that's the inspiration for that. We wanted to keep it authentic from the time, but also wanted to add that vintage look, the stress look. So there's certain things you wanted to keep it crisp. And there's certain items like the map that have a little more distressing. And we wanted to just keep it interesting throughout the game. We didn't want something static that looked exactly the same overall. A lot of these elements are going to be a surprise. You don't see it when it comes out of the box. There's something really exciting about that. And you think about that, and it also helps drive the decisions. Each step along the journey should be delighting and surprising the person who has the game. There's a lot to considerate when you're designing a legacy game, because really, a legacy game, you're designing 10, 12 games at once, and you have to make it cohesive, and they each have to get more interesting than the other one. Even if you're going to be using, you know, say, a half-inch sticker, we still put the same amount of design and detail into that half-inch sticker that we do with a complete game board diagram. It doesn't matter if you're only going to be looking at it for five minutes or you're sticking it to something that's going to go in the trash two adventures from now. There's still the same amount of care and detail and research that goes into that little piece. I am a miniature collector. I'm a miniature painter. So every time I work on a project, the miniatures are pretty high up on my list. These mini sculpts are very interesting and I think unique uh, because they are not just dinosaurs. They're dinosaurs from the movies. We actually had the models from ILM with the dinosaurs. And I thought, boy, if we can do the dinosaur heads large, you know, visually, they're stunning. And for painters, it'd be a delight to have something larger to work on. So each miniature became sort of an iconic scene for the dinosaur. Each dinosaur sculpt is its own story. It comes from a specific scene in these movies. The T-Rex, we thought like, boy, what's the most iconic T-Rex scene? And we thought the most iconic was him breaking through that fence on that rainy night. I think people are gonna be really excited to paint these. Uh, I know I am excited to paint them. I know there's a dedicated community of fans to both legacy games and to the Jurassic World franchise. And the fact that we are marrying these two and putting them in front of both of these communities. I'm really excited to see that happen.